Welcome everyone to my channel that is fast and easy maths. So yes, lot of people got it wrong and I'm going to show you a very easy method in which you could actually do this literally in your head. Okay, but still after doing it also there was one step where lot of people messed up. So I'll tell you where what went wrong. Okay, so the first thing you see we have x plus 3 the whole square is equals to 3 square. So let's do the expansion of x plus 3 as what a plus b the whole square the expansion is nothing but what a square plus 2ab plus b square so this can be written as what x square plus 2 into 3x plus 3 square is equal to 3 square now in order to find the value of x we need to subtract both sides by 3 square so basically you got x square, 2 into 3x gets you 6x equals to, this becomes 0 and this also becomes 0, so it becomes 0 over here. So a lot of people think that, you know, I'll tell you where people are going wrong. They think that I can do it this way, x square equals to minus 6x dividing both sides by x, so you got x equals to minus 6. This is just one part of the answer. See, whenever there is a degree which if whatever is the degree that that means that is an indication that that many answers are supposed to be there for this question okay so how do we do this first thing what you need to do is you need to take x common and i'm left with what x plus 6 equals to 0 so from this i can say x equals to 6 uh, x equals to 0 or x plus 6 equals to 0 so here we can say x equals to minus 6 Okay, so here for the question, we can say the value of x is either 0 or minus 6. I hope this is very, very clear to everyone. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.